Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization searching for Bigfoot in this area because of many Bigfoot sighting reports. Here's one of the reports. BL writes RMSO. Hi, I had a sighting around 2016 near Manaway, Utah. There appears to be enough activity and sightings around here that maybe it's possible to actually find one and get good footage. For the record, I don't necessarily believe that Bigfoot exists. I have gone to great lengths to explain away what I saw. I can give you the location and the story if you're interested. RMSO responds, Hi BL, we have been searching around that location because of some Bigfoot sighting reports reported in that area. Appreciate hearing from you. BL writes back, I don't want my name going public, so we're just using his initials. I was sitting at Pete's cabin during the elk hunt, spotting for elk. I had been there for several hours, and I was getting restless. I decided to leave the cabin and start off down the ridge in an easterly direction to an area that I have not been in before. This Pete's cabin is an old shepherd's cabin that's abandoned for quite some time. The roof is caved in and everything. BL continues, I had went down about a hundred feet when I got the feeling I was being watched. I stopped and turned. Sure enough, there was a spike elk by two other elk on a ridge 375 yards away. I sat down and watched the elk for a good amount of time, hoping a bigger one would show up. It was past midday at this point. I decided that I would take a shot at this elk. I steadied and took the only shot that was available, a head shot. There was no indication that I had hit the elk, but I went to check for blood and any sign. When I got to the location where the elk had been, I found no blood. I cut for a sign for about 20 minutes. I followed the elk tracks for about 50 feet, no blood. I took a break to think things over. I decided because of the time of day and my earlier shot, that I probably blew everything out of there and I was going to call it a day. I planned to head down the west side of the ridge that I was on and take a trail that I know out at the bottom of the main trail. I was no longer in the hunting mode at this point. I was just trudging along with my head down. I was going through scrub oak that had a good understory that was about six feet tall and the taller trees were about 15 feet tall. Out of the corner of my eye, I detected movement, as if something was picking acorns out of the top of the taller trees. It was like a left arm retracting down from the treetop and a body turning and crouching. I stopped and focused my attention to the area. I could see a large black shape obscured by the shorter oak. It was about 20 feet away from me. The animal appeared to be crouching, and I could see part of its head and one eye clearly. I was confused about what was going on. What I thought I was seeing don't exist, yet there it was, plain as day in front of me. I watched the animal for a while. It didn't move. I didn't move. I got my wits about me and I decided to attempt to scare the animal. I yelled, hey, 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 while clapping. The animal responded with a growl. I tried scaring it several more times with the same response. The last growl seemed more threatening. So I decided that making distance was my best bet. I turned and headed back up the ridge for a ways, then headed west and circled around the area. I dropped down to a trail at the bottom and headed for the main trail. Once I hit the main trail, I jogged for about a mile before slowing my pace. At this point, it was just getting dark, but still light enough that the lighting was not needed. At some point, I came into a cell service, and I got a text from my hunting buddy. He did not join me that day. So I called him and told him the story. He didn't believe a word I said, other than I took a shot. Now, since I'm a skeptic, I'm trying to explain this away. And what I came up with, of what I saw, I saw a moose standing on its hind legs, browsing out of the top of the trees. When I came up, it dropped down to its forelegs and turned towards me. It growled at me when I attempted to scare it, but I was close enough to have saw moose ears. But there was no moose ears. This explanation seems unlikely also. This is Kelly at RMSO responding. I really like your sarcastic explanation. We all know moose don't growl. If you can see its eye, you should be able to see its ear. And on top of that, 
a moose does not have a left hand and does not have fingers to pluck acorns out of the trees. BL sends us this drawing and says, this is a poor drawing of what I saw. RMSO responds, it appears to me that your sighting was across the canyon from old Pete's cabin. I actually filmed a moose there. I doubt you thought it was a moose that you saw. Otherwise, you would not have contacted us. BL responds, yes, across from Pete's cabin. I have seen several moose in the area, and I know I don't think it was a moose. Without using the word Bigfoot, I can't explain what I saw. RMSO responds, appreciate hearing from you. We keep an eye on the area because of the history of sighting reports we have received along with reports sent to BFRO. And here is the moose that we filmed that was also across the way from Pete's cabin. It was down the mountain, probably half a mile to a mile, and then across the way from Pete's cabin. In the right area, yes. I'm watching the ridge lines for Bigfoot shapes, and I think I found a moose. Yeah, it's a moose laying down. <laughs> he just laid down. It may be an elk. Have to look at that on the big screen. Moose or an elk. All right, it's not the Bigfoot we're looking for, but I just want to show you guys how far away I was when I spotted that thing. Looking for Bigfoot and saw a dark shape and it was that moose. I really think it's a moose now that I've zoomed in on it. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed a look at a Bigfoot sighting location. There have been many sighting reports of Sasquatch here and surrounding locations, amazing area. Keep on watching, we're going to keep on squatching.